What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and it's been a while since we've done that intro. So smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button because I'm tired as hell, and I know that there's no intro in this video. I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. I've been at work all day, and I just I want to go to bed, but I want to put out this really awesome deck profile for you guys before I tuck my little ass on into bed. So this is a top eight. Stun with Adventure plus a based Punk Engine plus Vanity's Fiend. I don't know what the fuck to even call this deck, quite honestly. Guys, uh, let me know down in the comments. What should we call this deck? Should we call this Base 3.0? Should we call this uh, Vanity's Fiend the deck? Should we call it Fossil Dino Eat My Ass the deck? Let me know down in the comments what we should call this deck. But I want to go ahead and profile it for you because it came in a top eight in a regional. And I think that this is something to point out, especially with a lot of players coming from Master Shits, aka Master Duel, into the IRL game and saying, oh, the game sucks. You know, it's it's just one tier zero deck, blah, 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 blah. No, not necessarily. We do have top decks, but we also have moments in Yu-Gi-Oh! throughout the history of the game where rogue decks can make a shilling, whether it's top eight, top 16, what have you, and you see something out of left field just pants the shit out of people. And this is a perfect example of that. So let's go ahead and dive on into this deck profile. So we're playing one copy of Amato Awato. It just stops monster effects. I mean, it, that's pretty much all it is. It's basically like a mystic mind, except it's a spirit monster. So it returns to the, end, returns to the hand at the end of the turn. So you can normal summon it. Activate your Ride of Aramiser since Amato Wado is a continuous effect, so you don't care about the normal summon uh, lockout of Aramiser, and then you can proceed to combo off. Stops hand traps primarily. We're playing two copies of Ash Blossom because it's Ash. Three copies of Fossil Dina because we don't want the opponent to special summon. Uh, one copy of Gagaku Punk Wagon. Uh, searches a punk spell from the deck to hand. Uh, I'm not going to try and act like I know what the punks do. I just know that it's part of the based engine. We're playing two copies of Jogan. So you discard a random card from your hand to the grave to destroy all special summon monsters on the field and neither player can special summon monsters. Yeah, so you combo off like crazy, you drop out Jaugen or even like a Vanity's Fiend or a Fossil Dina, and the opponent can't special, plus you may have Omni Negates, plus you may have a Griffin Rider, and it's just not a good time for the opponent. We're playing one copy of Ziamen, one copy of Recover, because it's our tuner, three copies of Vanity's Fiend, because why not? Let's just lock out more of their special summoning. Uh, one copy of Griffin Rider, three copies of Water Enchanters, one Dracoback, three Etelli, one Faithful Adventure, one Foolish Burial, and then we're playing one copy of Forest of Lost Flowers. So this is actually an adventure support card, uh, believe it or not. They don't just have Water Enchanters and Griffin Rider and Illegal Knight. So, Lost Flowers is a field spell, and it says monsters you control equipped with Starlit Papillon are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Once per turn, when your adventure token destroys a monster by battle, you can draw a card. Once per turn during your main phase, if the previous effect was activated this turn, you can add a field spell that mentions adventure token from your deck to your hand except for Lost Flowers. So, you obviously, you don't have any other field spells in the deck, but you do have Starlit Plap. Plapleon? That cannot be neat. Change of names. Equip only to a monster you control. You can only control one Plapleon. Monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack for each monster you control with a different name that mentions Adventure Token. And then if this card is sent to the grave, you can target Adventure Token you control. Equip this card to that target. You can only use this effect of Plapleon once per turn. Keep in mind that this is an equip spell, so if you have Faithful uh, Adventure on the field, it's going to protect the token from being destroyed by Bow while it has an equip spell. Uh, one Feather Duster. One Instant Fusion for the Millenniumized District. One copy of Lightning Storm with three Prosperity and Two Raigeki. Um, I guess he couldn't afford two more lightning storms. I don't know. Maybe he just wanted the options. I'm not sure. Three Ride of Aramiser. Three Small World because it's good. Uh, and then one copy of the Starlet Papillon. For the extra deck, we're playing one copy of Ince. One copy of Millennium Eyes Restrict. Three copies of Dragite for some reason. I don't know why he's playing three because this thing's a hard once per turn. Like, yeah, it's a generic, like, what is this? Level eight, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's a level eight. But I feel like playing three is kind of overkill. Like, why not play two other generic level eights? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not seeing the bigger picture here. We're playing one Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, one Final Sigma, one Natty Beast, one Wind Pegasus Adignister, uh, one Ultimate Falcon. I don't know how the fuck he's making this. Um, it's two level 10 Wing Beasts, so I'm very confused because <laughs> he's not playing Punishment. Like, maybe for Maximus? I don't know. 
I I'm, I'm genuinely do not know. Uh, one Cherubini, one Hockey Fibrax, one Geonator Traverser, a Link Spider, and sorry, you just Skull Drip. For the side deck, we're playing another Amato Watto and three copies of Fog King. So you contribute a monster or no monsters to normal summon but not set this card. The attack of this card becomes the combined original attack of the tributed monsters, and neither player contribute cards. So if you're going against the one dude in the whole room playing fucking Monarchs, then this is an out to it. If you're going against the one guy in the room also playing True Draco, then this is an out to it. Um, if you're playing against Flunder, this is actually a really good out because you could just like tribute the Vanity Fiend for this. You have a 2400 beat stick and the opponent can't tribute cards. It doesn't even just say monsters, it just says cards. So they can't uh, unknown win you. They can't make Empin. Like they just lose the game and no one's going to expect Fog King. Then we're playing one copy of Call By. And then for some reason, we're playing one Cosmic Cyclone and one MST. <laughs> like. Okay, I guess you don't want to really ditch anything in your hand with, like, Twin Twisters, and you already have Feather Duster, so the Cosmic and the MST can act as, like, sort of cleanup cards, or as, like, chainable cards, um, so maybe that's why he also didn't want to, like, get killed in time with, like, just having Cosmic, so I guess he just wanted options. Um, we're playing one copy of D Fisher, three copies of Prohibition, because why not, I guess? And then three copies of Evenly and Macro. He's just saying F you to the grave. Like, Macro and D. Fisher and Call By, like, man, he's he's not dealing with it today. Um, let me go ahead and do some random hands here and see what we hit. We got one, two, three, four, five. You're going to want to go first with this deck. Um, I guess Prosperity for six. So maybe, like, you can hit the Ultimate Falcon... Uh, the ins or the restrict depending, and then maybe two dragite. There's four, maybe final sigma for five, uh, maybe crystal clear wing for six. So then you're hitting what one, two, three, four, five, six. Ew, like maybe the Jalgen, I guess. Um, after you kind of pop off a little bit, you also got small world to search. You've got fossil Dyna. You're kind of playing a few different engines in, in here because you've got your stun, but then you also have the adventure engine. Which, I mean, just going into the adventure engine and ending on Griffin and a token with Faithful Adventure and a Dracoback and a Fossil Dyna is not terrible because, I mean, you have the Griffin Rider to shut the opponent out of a resource, so they're basically playing with a five-card hand. Plus, they're locked out of Special Summon, so they have to, say, for example, Normal Summon their Alu Bar, get the Search of the Branded Fusion, and then swing over the Fossil Dyna and then make their Fusion a main phase two. Um, I, I guess. I mean... I don't know. It's it's interesting. Maybe it, maybe that was just a bad hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you end on Fossil Dino with Griffin and the token. You've also got the e telly to make plays, which is cool, because then you can go into one of your punks, and really you only need, like, what, one punk to get your plays going? So that could end into something good. Plus, again, small world to search just to get really whatever card you want. So guys, please let me know down in the comments what you think about this profile. I'm going to head my ass to bed. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.